will come to easy elim learning simplifying my name is ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics and our topic for today is linear inequalities of two unknown so we are going to look at an inequality with two unknowns before we were looking at one unknown either the value of x or the value of y and then we were presenting this on a graph so we are going to look at the cases we have two unknowns which is x and y how do we represent that in a graph so we will start with for example this question before i show you the graph the first thing that we need to do we need to make this equation as a equation of a line and we remove the inequality so that it can help us first of all to draw the line and then now we introduce the inequality to get the line this is what i'm saying so when you look at this equation, this is the same as x plus y is equals to 8. You just disregard the inequality in the first step. The second step, you need to get the point on the line so that you can draw that line. As we did previously when we were writing equation of a line in a graph. So you get the values of x and the values of y. So when the values of x is 0, so you input that in your equation. So this is going to mean is 0 plus y is equals to 8, meaning y is equals to 8. So 8. If x is 1, then this is going to be 1 plus y is equals to 8, which is y is equals to 7, because 1 goes to side and subtract. If x is equals to 2, then it's going to be 2 plus y is equals to 8 y is equals to 6 because 2 goes to side and subtracts 8 so 6 so you have three points which is 0 8 you have another point 1 7 and you have another point 2 6 so using these points you can draw a line so this line has been drawn and we we go back to the inequality since it's equal sign greater or equal our line is going to be bold we draw that line using that equation of a line but now we do not forget that if you add both x and y, it's supposed to be greater than 8. What you do, you pick values. You pick values on the line, above the line and below the line, and you check which side is wanted or unwanted. For example, if you have drawn this line, you can pick a value just directly below where uh, this line is, for example. We can pick... Uh, a value like for example 3 and 4 this is x and y remember the inequality says x plus y is greater or equals to 8 so let's test that so x is 3 so it's 3 plus y is 4 is greater or equals to 8 so this 3 plus 4 is going to be 7 which is greater is equal to so that one is 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 not true so you see it's not true so it's going to be on the unwanted region you pick another value above the line you can pick a value directly above the line you can even pick six and six so six six which is x y so it means six plus six is greater or equals to eight this is 12 is greater or equals this is true so any values above the line is wanted that's how you decide which side to shape and which side not to shape let me show you in our equation that we are drawing from scratch. Let's do this together step by step. So we have x minus y is less than 4. Let's do this together. So the first thing we change this into a normal equation of a line, which is x minus y is equals to 4. So we are just disregarding and then we will come back to the inequality. So if the values of x and y, so we do the assumptions to get the straight line. If x is equals to 0, this becomes 0 minus y is equals to 4, which is the same as y is equals to negative 4, because you have to divide by 1 both sides. All right, so this becomes minus 4. If x is equals to 1, this becomes 1 minus y is equals to 4, which is the same as minus y is equals to 3, so y is equals to negative 3. So this becomes negative 3. If x is equals to 2, then it becomes 2 minus y is equals to 4. So minus y is equals to 2, so y is equals to negative 2. 
Now we have three points we can use on our line. So these three points are 0, negative 4, 1, negative 3, and 2, negative 2. You can get as many points as you want. So you go to our number line. So we have 0, negative 4 is going to be here. And then we have 1, negative 3 is going to be here. And then we have 2, negative 2. So you notice our line is like this. It's going this direction. You can get more points, even larger like values. So you join a line. But before you join, you join your line, remember on inequalities, it's less than 4. There is no equal sign. So your line should not be bolded. So do not forget. It's supposed to be dotted. So let, let me show you that. So let's show the dotted uh, so that we have something like this. So you can use a ruler and make sure the line is dotted throughout like that and goes on and on. You can pick bigger values so that you can get a good straight line. So after that, now that we have noted our line is dotted, how do then how do we choose then which side to shade and which side not to shade? We do so by picking values above and below the line. Let's start with values above the line. If we took Take two values above the line. For example, we can pick 3 and 2. 3, 2. So if we input that in our inequality, which says x minus y is less than 4. So the values of x is 3 minus 2 is less than 4. 3 minus 2 is 1 is less than 4, which is true. So it means the values above the line are true. Let's pick values below the line. We can pick 5, negative 3. So this is going to be 5 minus minus 3 is less than 4. So this is the same as 5 plus 3 is less than 4. So 5 plus 3 is 8 is less than 4, which is not true. So values below the line are not true. So they are unwanted. So we are going to shade values below the line. So that's how we choose which side to shade and which side not to shade. Let's do one more question to stamp the point. So we have this. So we convert it into an equation, which becomes 2x plus y is equal to 3. So x, y. So when x is 0, you put 0 here. So it becomes 0 plus y is equal to 3. So y is 3. When x is 1, it's going to be 1 times 2 plus y is equal to 3. So this is 2 plus y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3 minus 2. So y is equal to 1. Let's pick a bigger value. Let's say x is equal to 4. So it's going to be 4 times 2 plus y is equal to 3. So this is 8 plus y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3 minus 8, which is y is equal to minus 5. So we have three points. You can get as many points as you want. So we have 0, 3, 1, 1, and 4, negative 5. So we use this point to draw the line. So we have 0, 3 here, and then we have 1, 1 here, and then we have 4, negative 5 here. So you notice our line is falling on, you can even, even see how the line is moving naturally. Mm -hmm. I think mine is a, is a place I've used the wrong one. Zero, three, three, one. So this is our line. These last two values are not correct. So you can get your values. So let's join. And then if you go back to the inequality is greater than, there's no equals. So we are using a dotted line. So you see how it's forming very nicely, a dotted line. So we have to check which is above the line or below the line, which side should we shade. 
So we go to the inequality which says 2x plus y is less than 3. So we pick values on the above so we can pick 1, 3. So this is the same as 2 times 1 plus y is less than 3. y is 3. So this is 2 plus 3 is greater than 3. That is 5 is greater than, which is correct. So we pick values below. We can pick 1, negative 3. So this is the same as 2 times 1 plus minus 3 is greater than 3. So this is 2 plus minus 3 is greater than 3, which gives us negative 1 is greater than It's not true. So the values below the line are the ones that are not true. So they are the ones that we do not, that do not follow that equation. So that's how we shape the below region. So I hope you've seen how we do it. So it means you have to have some equation on how to draw a straight line using an equation. So check out more revision questions on the app and practice how to show these inequalities on a graph and also not on the same. See you in the next lesson.